Fellow Sewellonians, this na Dr. Sylvia Olainka Blyden. And today, Thursday, October 27th, 2022. I did do this broadcast from London in the United Kingdom. And at the 92nd broadcast in my ongoing series of address to the people of Sierra Leone. We go call them audio number 092. My people them wanna go remember in audio 091. We am in pool last week, Friday. I mean, tell when I say the tweet where the chief electoral commission, I mean, tweet was unfortunate. Then I go on for a show when I say, I show say the chief electoral commissioner in statement on this PR system where he tweet about. He may not promise we say, in get for pull a public notice. That Friday day. So myself, I tell on I say, when he pulled the public notice, he must can explain to we, waiting na the reason where he go tell His Excellency the President, say make he not able for do boundary delimitation. I said then based on what he go talk, I get for come back and tell una me own thoughts about whatever it is that he go don't tell the president. But me people them to me dismay, me shock, me surprise. This we chief electoral commissioner, he they treat Sierra Leoneans them like a winner munku. This man pull a public notice. Like he talk to them village idiots. We no sabi think. The man no say nothing, nothing at all about waiting he tell the president. We make the president tell and say. Make it do PR system for the elections next year. He not talk nothing. He treat we like a win among them. But what he may want to tell that chief electoral commissioner today is that if in the field say we the Sierra Leoneans them win among them, I want to know say na him na the biggest fulu munku, Mr. Chief Electoral Commissioner, you, Mohammed Kiniwe Kone. Now you na the biggest fulumunku right now. You feel say swelling as an amunku, <laughs> but to God, Mr. Commissioner, now you na the biggest fool right now in that country. Day. You na fulumunku. If you the feel say we na munku, you you na fulumunku, fulumunku in worst part munku. Mr. Chief Electoral Commissioner. <laughs> You don't say nothing to we, the citizens of Sierra Leone, inside the public notice. But you go to BBC that same day, day. you talk boku fulumunku talk. <laughs> so, so full, full talk. Now you go talk na BBC. You talk tell you talk say na August 10, the events of August 10. Now you make with the candle PR system. That chief electoral commissioner, you follow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that you BBC interview, I get for handle inside another audio, not to this one today. I also get for handle the misinformation where Uma Ufofana give to the BBC during the time where the interview CDA at Tunis. 
What you make I get for handle and correct that misinformation day? Oma um, ufufana na mi brother. But me, I can look for correct time when it can do them dangerous misinformation. What you make I get for correct that dangerous misinformation day? Na because the thing that what he say, then so untrue, historically wrong, and grossly misleading. So I get for do a special audio for correct Umar Ufufana in comments to the BBC and for also put this Ufulu Mungu Chief Electoral Commissioner in Sefion comments them in proper perspective. But not for today on audio. Today on audio, I want for start for repeat waiting at talk na 091. I say, Cherry Koku, Kande Yumkela, Emasin Salamina, Samat Yunuma, and all the ordinary members of parliament where they be and the way they follow them, because these are the leaders. Plus all the 14 members of parliament and the three independent members of parliament and the speaker of parliament. I want for repeat say, 27th of July this year, then pass the PR system into law. Then when they come up for passing into law, some of them very dishonest, dishonorable, disgusting, shameless, disreputable, lack of self-respect, unpatriotic, lying, dangerous members of parliament from the opposition, were not fit for seat in a parliament, then get the bold mind for bringing them shameless, dishonorable, disgusting, reprehensible, disreputable, unpatriotic self them, for come na public and deny, say they not pass PR system in July of this year. And they repeat to one of my people them, then pass them, they not only pass them, then go ahead and they enact a schedule as to how for shape seats them when they don't don't PR elections. So any member of parliament for now, I not get the actual names of the members of parliament that we don't deny because I have been busy in the past few days. But I hear some names them. I even hear that an espikoma in poppy dog. I did buy on a Holland. He broadcast say one particular member of parliament go attack me na AYV. Say, waiting me talk no to true. But me, as I be the member of parliament, I don't feel say, that they elect a grace. I don't feel say, he go go na television, he attack me. So, I know they call him name until Mr. Seth watch this AYV broadcast where they say he attack me, Sylvia Blyden. Then I go go ahead for talk about that honorable day. But for now, I know they call none of their names they yet until I get evidence of who side and the denier. Then I go come and I go name them one after the other. Any member of parliament will deny. Say they not pass PR system into law in July of this year. Any member of parliament will deny. Say no to them don't give power to President Mother Bill for go ahead and declare PR system. Na a shameless member of parliament. Na a dishonorable member of parliament. Na a disgraceful member of parliament. Na a parliamentarian will lack self-respect. And na a parliamentarian will not for ever vote for again for going to parliament. Because na lie man, na dangerous person. But we will wait for us to see their names them. For now, Una way can study the law, we get the acts them. 
I want to now for write down then section there. Yeah? So when I go look for the act them, when I prepare for my next audio, where they can show now how the parliament on that speaker Abbas Bundu, Cherry Koko as leader of APC, Kande Yumkela as leader of NGC, Sa Emerson Lamina as, as leader of C4C, Sam Matthew Numa as leader of SAPP, the independent MPs, the paramount chief MPs, and they can show now in the next audio how they empower President Bill for do it in President Bill do so. President Bill not use the correct pathway for Duam. And I will come to that aspect just now. But there, when I go look for them following act there, when I look for Tijan Kaba in Electoral Law of 2002, when I look for Section 43 inside that act there, when I pay attention to the order of the lineup with Tijan Kaba may put, when I watch within a 43A where he put above 43B. Then when I go to Anes by Kuma in law of 2012, in public elections law of 2012, when I look for section 58 of Anes by Kuma in your law, then finally, when I come to Julius Madabio in your law, we then just don't pass na parliament this year, when I look for section 56. When I keep all them sections there, yeah? then when I stand by for me inside my next audio, audio 93, where they can handle members of parliament for una, una de cole. <laughs> Any member of parliament, we cough, we deny, say they not pass PR system on 27th of July, 093, na ingo geta in shamelessness, in dishonorable self, in disgusting self, I go handle them inside 093. But today, the main issue I want to can talk about, and I remember when the census results may come out, oh, people, they may say, this results not correct, this results not correct, Oh, for go court. We get for go court. And they see, learn, you know, then lawyer, they work in court. Twitter lawyers. Now, Twitter know what they're doing. They never reach a court. Thank you. They don't want to Twitter, then they tweet. <laughs> we they go court. So, me, if I go on Twitter, I tell them, I say, no case, no day. When I don't go win, no case for this census. Because everything where the president do correct. Everything where the government may do for the census is correct. Now, we boycott. And we will boycott, now you make the results come out, come out so. So we're not going to no legal basis for going to court. We're not going to win them. So if I remember, I mean, give a suggestion that day. I said the best way forward, we will make sure so we pull all the people that are do for can register for be voters. I say for future action. Because when we register with people them, the number of voters then we get for be registered, then get for so buckle that now then go show say the census not correct. Now then go show say the census results not correct. I say end now that process day, now they will get for do future action. So today, me women tell on I say, if we're gonna court for that census results, we know the winner. Me they tell on now today say, if anybody carry this chief electoral commission are gonna court for this in Fulumunku behavior we don't do, we the win and clean, we the win and clean argument of the day and the because the chief electoral commissioner within Fulumunku in feel to say Sierra the Munku. If forget say there are Sierraleans they were able to analyze issues. So today I want focus on analyzing 
for that full munku. We feel say we na munku. I want to show on today how he full munku. Before I do that, I want to now all for go take pen and paper. Because today I can discuss one very critical part of the Constitution. And for make I able to discuss them, if I make on a write them on a paper, I they read them out. Then when I read out that section day, on a for write them on a paper. Because I they can now and explain how that Fulumungu Chief Electoral Commissioner don't fool himself. Because I say he fool. <laughs> Not a will. <laughs> So, I go find pen and paper. And now they can write down one part from the Constitution of Sierra Leone, we then call Section 38.4. On I go find pen and paper, then on I can write within Section 38.4 say. And I can read them out for now, what he say. As I de read them, on a begin write them. Section 38.4, it says, oh, by the way, on a way they listen, what you can do at this point, on a pause the audio, on a go find pen and paper, then on a come back, on a press them for continue. So you can pause them, go find pen and paper at this point. The way you don't count your pen and paper now, you begin write. So, section 38.4 says, and on the right hand, I read and slowly. He said, the Electoral Commission shall review the division of Sierra Leone into constituencies at intervals of not less than five and not more than seven years. And may alter the constituencies in accordance with the provisions of this section to such extent as it may consider desirable in the light of the review. May people them, I they read them out again a second time for Una. Una can cross check what Una don't write for make sure say, now waiting then at the constitution, now Una write. So I they read them out again a second time. Section 38.4. The Electoral Commission shall review the division of Sierra Leone into constituencies at intervals of not less than five and not more than seven years and may alter the constituencies in accordance with the provisions of this section to such extent as it may consider desirable in the light of the review. Now, may people them, waiting we don't write so, I they can't talk now inside Creole. I they can't simplify inside Creole. The Constitution under Section 38.4, it say, by force, by force, the Electoral Commission, by force, if for the Czech Sierra Leone, the population of Sierra Leone, and it review. The constituency, they how they divide them by force if for the duam. But enough for duam if you not reach five years yet. 
And enough for wait till it pass seven years. In no dwam. So by force, by force, the electoral commission by force. Enough for review if you not five years yet. And by force, enough for wait till it's seven years in no review. Then until the review in a by force, it says shall, you know, where with man say shall. That means in a by force. It say when you don't review, then if the review show you now say changes don't be at the population, the way how the population spread, it don't change. Then you, the electoral commission now, you get the option. This is not a by force. So. Mm -hmm. This one now on a May, you know, with my way, say May, it means to say you can do it if you want. If you don't want, you not do it. Not to by force. In a May. He say if you don't review, by force you don't review, you can come out and decide, say, you they alter the constituencies they that you they change change how the constituency they shape you get that option they if you want if you see and say it desirable if you see and say this that you want for do i don't review this const the constituency them by force and for do them and i don't do them now i don't review by force if i want I get the option for redivide the constituency then again in a process where they call boundary delimitation. So many people, you know, then lawyer then they can get what they can say limbs, limbs, that is like a foot. That is when they write a law, if the law get more than one part. Then they say again more than one limb. So if I watch this section 38, who I don't write, when I go find out, say, it gets more than one part. The first part, now the shall, that is the by force. Then the second part, now the optional one, that is you may. So what in this mean? It means say the people that were right to constitution, they were very smart. And then catch up say population then can change, population then can shift, people then can move from one location, go to another location. So one constituency might drop the number of people that were there inside, then go drop. Sometimes they all move come out in that particular area day for one reason or the other. Law will say something then get mud slide or then get earthquake. So boku boku people then come out in one particular constituency. So the constituency people are not better there again. Or sometimes because they, they do farming on side and then they come for can do some kind of hydroelectric dam. So the people they all when they are that area they they move them all as farmers come on that side day. So in such a case the population shift. Or you get area away from them, then say diamond boss na ya. Boku boku diamond. So people they all begin move, then they go to that area outside diamond day, because diamond get money. So that area day now, the people then come boku na that area day. So the population can shift. But you know, follow say population they shift. Most of the time population not they shift. Most of the time how people then they no more, na then tongue them, na so then they. Most of the time, normally that can happen. So you don't need for review constitution, a constituency. You don't need for do boundary delimitation. But you need for do a review. The review nine mandatory on you. You need for do a review. Then they not by force. You for check. The different constituency them. If the population don't change, then you can look at now. If the population change Boku, 
Then you get the option, optional, may, for canal and alter and change and redraw the constituencies them. The people that don't take me time on this issue, because I want to know for understand, see, there is a difference in the Sierra Leone constitution between a review and an alteration. It's very important for that Fulumunku for notice that it no means say because by force you for review, it means say by force you for read divide. It no means say by force because you for conduct a review. It mean to say by force you for do boundary delimitation. No, no, no. Now for that make the constitution, it clearly they tell you the side na shall and the shall na the review. The may na na the boundary delimitation. It optional, not to by force. No sign other than the constitution will say by force. Then for do boundary delimitation between five to seven years. No sign. The only thing what the constitution say is that by force, then for review. And what in a review? Review means to say, look the population figures, where you mean get the last time. Check the population figures now. If it's different, then you go look at a different boku, a different by up to 25%, a different by less than 15%. Well, if it's different up to more than 25%, then something of an option. May, 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 Mr. Fulumunku, may, may. It not say shallow, it say may. Mr. Fulumunku, it not tell you say you shall alter, it say you may alter. My people, why make they take me time on this? That because the chief electoral commissioner, Mr. Fulumunku, in, in, instead of Fulumunkuness, they feel to say we all fool, so we don't know the difference between shall and may. And I know say some of we smart enough for no, say when they say shall, not by force. We then say may na optional. So if in the process where Mr. Fulumunku, Chief Electoral Commissioner, he don't can do a review because clearly he don't do a review, and he don't find out say <laughs> he not able because in say August ten in say this in say that so he not able for do boundary delimitation. It is optional. Not to buy force. It is may, may, may. If it is desirable, you may. So please, Mr. Chief Electoral Commissioner, you are not dealing with munkus. You are not dealing with fools. You are dealing with highly educated, intelligent citizens of Sierra Leone. No sign other than the Constitution will tell you, say, by force, you for do boundary delimitation. So if Mr. Fulumunku, you don't decide now, say, because of August 10, you're not able to do boundary delimitation, now you business. Paddy, now you business, oh. You not get nothing for do with we. We got our constitu <laughs> constituencies them intact. You not feel for do boundary delimitation, not to by force. Now May, it is May. I make a tell me people don't say, all my right time. So then go see the side when I shall, pan the one limb. Then I go see the side when I may. So Mr. <laughs> Fulumunku, <laughs> Chief Electoral Commissioner, <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> you look full. <laughs> you look not know the difference between may and shall. No sign no they will tell you say you for do boundary delimitation. No. So if you don't decide now, say for August 10, or for whatever reason, you know what for do boundary delimitation? Now you business. We no mind. We constituencies that stay there intact. We go go with them. We 
constituencies are still intact under the law. So you can't come now and tell we with your full self, you full munku self, can't talk to we like we na munkus, we na you na the fool. <laughs> they can't tell we say, you go tell the president say, you're not able to do boundary delimitation. Well, you're not able to do boundary delimitation. It's optional. It's optional. You get the, as long as the, the, the rest of your tenure for opt, not for doam. But you see me, people, if I don't reach this point, I want for now make will be honest to one another. Starting from His Excellency the President. Mr. President, you need to be honest to the people of Sierra Leone and communicate with we. You need to talk to we. I know what you challenge. You the shame. You the shame for can't tell we see the census results in not come out how you want them for come out. I can understand. The president is shame for can't tell we see the census results and the voter register they not correlate because that would have been the pathway women for genuinely use <laughs> for call for a fresh boundary delimitation. Well, Mr. President, no one for use that pathway there. Because if you use that pathway, it gets for accept, say, in census where it conduct, no match, no correlate with the current voter register trend. So now Mr. President gets a dilemma. And unfortunately for Mr. President, he not get good advisors. <laughs> So the advice and I'll say, let like, can't open call. You know, open call, can open call. See, and I make you for a watch. No document, no press statement, nothing not come on a state house. Silence from state house. Because I test still on an open call. Mr. President, no say, he can declare for proportional representation district block system. If it talks, say, based on the current 2021 census, population don't shift. But well, Mr. President, at this point, if he try for talk, say, population don't shift, the voter register, they expose the so-called shift in the population. So now the dilemma this way then get. We make the president in advice as the intelligence, as they assume, the intelligence, you not can talk, you not say nothing, because they will send the chief electoral commissioner, let him go talk, so that you can still maintain yourself as the fountain of honor and justice. Because the president is the fountain of honor in Sierra Leone. And what in that Fulumungu chief electoral commissioner Depan is very dishonorable. Very dishonorable. So the president now associates himself with dishonorable conduct. Now for that make there has been silence from state house. The dude Send the chief electoral commissioner, Mr. Fulumunkul, then can do the open call. <laughs> and then they stay back for watch. But Mr. President, we don't watch with the people. And clearly, the chief electoral commissioner, he not get no legal basis, none at all, for say him in need for do boundary delimitation. Because the review process, Yes, it done five years because the review was done in early 2017. The last review of the boundaries, the last review of the constituencies. It was done in 2017. 
But Mr. President, that review that was done in 2017 is still valid because you electoral commissioner, Mr. Fulumunku, is not able to do further and do any alteration when I am optional. So, Mr. President, the Chief Electoral Commissioner, he cannot tell you that he is unable to do boundary delimitation. He cannot tell you that he is mandated by force if a duam, because the Constitution not tell and say by force if a duam. The Constitution tell and say he may, he may. So even though it's on five years since the last review, the process of the alteration, not to by force, now may, 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 not to shall, shall, shall. So Mr. President and your advisors, somebody the other day, he can't attack me. He said me to protect President Madabio because instead of me, Criticize the president. Me, they can't criticize the president in legal advises them. This time, in that issue, we get for do with the burial, the enforced burial of certain corpses. Where I talk, say the president, they allow in advisor them for care and go inside roadway, no go able come out. So the person come and say, Dr. Blyden. You are being too protective of the president. Criticize him. He's the one at fault, not the advisors. No, I am sorry. The president is not a lawyer. The president is not a constitutional expert. The president is not a Sylvia Blyden. We take law, constitutional issues as a hobby. Because me, I take it as a hobby. I read them from me, my grandpa, my attorney general. I'll just lack the law. So na part of me, I always they read on the issues there. So me, I always they on top of issues. But the president is not a lawyer. He's not a constitutional expert. He's not Sylvia Olinda Blyden. He is a military man. So the one day where he don't put as in advisors them, the one day when I then suppose for able to know the difference between shall under the law and may under the law, that then they fail for tell the president. The legal advisors, that then they fail for tell the president. So it hurt for me for come and condemn the president direct. If not to ever do security and military matters, I will condemn and direct, direct. When I remember where August Tembi, I come out and I condemn them because I know say under my expertise. If you don't care less intelligence, security, failure, I condemn them. But I am sorry, I cannot condemn President Julius Madabio for the lapses of the rubbish legal advice within the game. I have to condemn the legal advisors. There are so many lawyers in the SLPP. And are they challenge and say they all know say waiting at the talk, especially the two limbs of section 384, where they differentiate shall review from may alter. They know the difference between shall and may. These lawyers are they challenge them that these SLPP lawyers they know say everything what they say now are correct, but why are they not advising the president? That the one green know. But what you mean know is that the people of Sierra Leone, we know to Munku. So we the people of Sierra Leone, nobody know will treat we like a Munku. However, at this point, to the one they were the insight, say then go pull people in the street. Make a one on Some of them are not get conscience. Some of them are like for see the body. Now for that make, before I use democratic and legal pathways, 
on a the talk about new demonstration. On a want to see more dead body. On a be careful. None of on a picking and not die. This last thing will be. We not see on a picking and safety. We not see on a wife them. We not see on a brother them. When you want to challenge that Fulumunku chief electoral commissioner, that's why we have a parliament. Summon the chief electoral commissioner and ask him if he not know say under section 38.4, there is a difference between shall and may. Summon the man to parliament. Question him in parliament. Lawyers, take the man to court. Sue him in court. Civil society activists, work with the lawyers and take this man to court. But for God's sake, in the name of God Almighty, we are not tell with people them back, see, we are they bring them can out and straight. And I believe... Just ask how the people they may listen to me, the majority of Sierra Leoneans, they may listen to me, August 10. They would listen to me again. And they're not going to ever obey on a call for them for Kamna Street and challenge the security forces. They will not do it. They will listen to me. If Una get conscience, if Una want peace and stability, if this one are they do so, one are they say, one want call people picking them for come back in the street. If not for one are your personal hidden agenda for create chaos and instability, then in the name of God, stop it. Allow the country forget peace and stability. On that note today, I go almost end this broadcast. But before I end them, make a reminder now again that any member of parliament will come out and publicly say that on 27th of July 2022, they not pass an act for the PR system, district block system, for be a part of the laws. They not reinforce waiting in the constitution any member of parliament will deny that a dishonorable wretch that a shameless mammal that a disreputable person will not forever send go to parliament again however even though they pass them into law they reinforce them Say PR system for day, district block system for day. Even though they pass them on the 27th of July, even though they reinforce them, the fact is that the conditions under which we we'll forget a PR district block system, the condition has not been met. Because even the excuse where the Fulumunku Chief Electoral Commissioner want for use under section four of under, under subsection four of section thirty eight, even that one day, the Fulumunku don't misinterpret because not to by force for alter, not by force for review. And even when I buy force for review, the seven years ceiling where you know for reach, you know reach yet. So the review, you can do them um, 2024. <laughs> the seven years not reach yet. So even though parliaments don't pass into law, for district block for be strengthened and retained and even pass the formula the condition within the law called condition precedent <laughs> in all rich yet there is no condition precedent for activating a PR system in Sierra Leone 
So Una, the one they were in an upper all political parties association, the other people they will believe say the PR system na a good system. I respect to not argument them. Go ahead, no, no opinions. But no matter how wonderful a system it is, if it is not based on the law, it cannot be applied. And in this case, the PR system cannot be applied because it will not be based on any precedent condition that is needed for it to be applied. On that note today, I will end this broadcast as I can always do with the tune of the national anthem. And the reason why I can play the national anthem is because I can want we will get conscience. Let we remember the words them. Where we can they say. Where we they sing about the land that we love. Our Sierra Leone. That God bless we all. Amen. I